بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته my dear brothers and sisters all of us know that loving the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is an essential part of our iman Allah tabarak wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran لَقَدَ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ that you have in the messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the most beautiful of examples. And similarly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in Surah Al Imran, قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّبِعُونِي يُحْبِبُكُمُ اللَّهِ Say to them, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if you love Allah, then follow me, meaning follow the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and you will attain the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the question is, how do we attain the love of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. How do we truly follow him, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, our Prophet, our Messenger, the one whom we love more than our own families? Now the ulama, the scholars throughout time, have compiled many books of ahadith, like Al-Bukhari, Imam Al-Bukhari Rahimahullah, and Sahih Muslim, and all the other books of ahadith, compiling and transmitting the statements of the Prophet ﷺ in so many different matters. However, there is one particular book that I found to be unique in its approach in describing and talking about the Prophet ﷺ. One of the great Imams of Hadith, Imam At-Tirmidhi rahimahullah ta'ala compiled a book which is all a Hadith narrations concerning the character the description, who the individuals, and who the individual was, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What is this book? The book is called Al-Shama'il Al-Muhammadiyya. And if you want to translate it as the sublime beauty of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now what makes this book stand out from other books? Of course, Imam Al-Tirmidhi rahimahullah ta'ala is one of the great scholars of this ummah and he passed away in the year 297 after Hijrah. He was one of the students of Imam al-Bukhari rahimahullah ta'ala. So his standing within the Ummah scholarship is unquestioned. Allahu Akbar. So he compiled this book and this particular book is made up of a number of different chapters. It is actually 56 different chapters talking about and describing the Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa from different perspectives. So for example, and the amount of ahadith in this particular book is approximately 414 narrations about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So if you begin the book, it talks about the physical description of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam and it mentions the famous and well-known ahadith concerning the description of what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam actually looked like. And then it moves on to other things like how the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, how he would walk, and how he would eat, how, for example, the type of clothing, what he would wear, and the different occasions, what types of clothing that he had, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. All of this brings us closer to how the Prophet alaihi wasallam lived his life, and how we can try to emulate that. How it important it is for us as Muslims to actually know the intricacies, the very fine details of how the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa how he lived his life. It is not just a matter for us to know what is halal and haram and for us to make that part of our daily routine, but for us to know how the Prophet alayhi wa would speak with people, how he would smile with people alayhi wa sallam, how he would treat them. Descriptions like when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he would speak with somebody, he would turn his whole body towards them and he would speak with them like this. He wouldn't just turn his head and give them part of his body, but this is how we find in the description of how the companions radiallahu ta'ala anhum in such fine detail that they would describe how the Prophet sallam, how he would make wudu, how he would, how he would address his family and speak with his family, how he would speak with his friends, how, meaning the companions of the Prophet sallam, and extended members of his family. Even how he sat sallam, when he was eating and when he was speaking with his companions. 
I believe this book is one of the most important books for us to study the life, those fine details of our beloved Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is something, it is an essential reading for all Muslims to know about details of the life of our beloved Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And for me, this book indeed is a page turner.